Laoshan Velodrome was a happy hunting ground for British cycling at the Olympic Games. They won seven of their eight gold medals on these boards behind me and their Paralympic counterparts are hoping to continue the trend. It's a small team of 10 cyclists but they're gunning for 14 medals which would be double the tally from Athens four years ago. So pretty much everyone on the team is hoping to get on the podium. The first we're going to see in action is Simon Richardson in the kilometre time trial in the LC 3 and 4 classification. Seven riders left to go and here's Britain's Simon Richardson. Paralympic debut at the age of 41, the man from Porthcawl. Only been racing for three years, he prefers the longer distances. He goes in the 3,000 metres individual pursuit tomorrow. But let's see how he gets on over the flying four laps. He knows it's going to be top to medal. It's a mixed ability event, this one. He's categorised as an LC3 athlete, someone with an upper and lower limb disability. But he's riding against LC4 competitors who are even more severely affected. They will have their time factored and a little bit of it sliced off. First things first, he has to beat 117.696, set by Paolo Vigano earlier, and he's well off that pace at the moment. Almost the best part of four seconds down, but needs to find an acceleration now doesn't have any feeling in the left part of his body after an accident that very nearly killed him seven years ago he was knocked off his bike by a car that was traveling at 60 miles an hour he would have probably died but for his helmet and here he is seven years on in the Paralympics got some work to do here though into the final lap Chris Ferber the coach urging him on he is getting quicker, the time is coming down. What has he got left over the remaining 100 metres or so? Simon Richardson in the kilo. Hold his breath, power to the line, hope, and he's gone first. Oh, where did that come from, Simon Richardson? He was behind for most of the race, but at the end of it, he's ahead. And he's gone into the gold medal winning position. The poor Paul Flyer has just produced the ride of his life. And it's a world record as well. Oh, it's an agonizing wait ahead, but it may well be gold. Two riders to go. Simon Richardson knows he has a medal of some description. He also knows these last two are more than capable of riding quicker. The first to go, Japan's Masaki Fujita, silver medalist at last year's World Championships in Bordeaux, clocked an unofficial world record in Colombia recently, but if he wants gold here, he knows he'll have to beat Richardson's new world record for real. The big star on Japan's Paralympic cycling team, their big hope for gold. He's in the same category as Richardson, he's classified as an LC3, so the time he sets will be the time he gets. And he needs to go faster than 1 minute 14.396. And he's ahead of that. Nearly the best part of two seconds ahead of it. He's looking really good early on. Following that black line, the shortest route around. Can he hold that form? It's a sprint now. The bell for the final lap. And he's still just ahead, but he's beginning to slow down. Just three tenths of a second the cushion. He's got to hold on to that kind of pace. And it looks to the naked eye as if he is slowing. This is where gold medals are won and lost. Japan's Masaki Fujita up to the line and he's not going to do it. He was leaking time over the final two laps and Simon Richardson will have at least a silver medal. Masaki Fujita goes into second place. He's holding on to gold for the time being. The final rider, the only man who can now snatch away Simon Richardson's golden dream. And he's an Australian, wouldn't you know it? 34-year-old Greg Ball from Queensland. He's the world champion. He's the defending Paralympic champion. He's already won three Games gold medals. If he wins a fourth, it'll be a silver for Great Britain, but he knows he has to go faster than he's ever gone before to deny Simon Richardson. And he's half a second up after the first 250. He's classified as an LC4 competitor. His disability is more acute, 
so he will benefit from this factoring system. He doesn't have to match the 114.396 to get the gold. I reckon anything around 117, maybe 118 might be enough for Greg Ball, the Australian. The final rider. The man who's favourite for the medal, but he knows the bar has been set so high by the unlikeliest leader, Simon Richardson. He's well down, he's well down. Once again, the pace that Richardson set over the second half of the race is a pace that you are being able to live with. And having been up with the clock, Greg Ball, as he enters the final lap, has now got to find something very special. He's only got a couple of seconds left. I don't think that's going to be enough. It's not enough even with the factoring, surely. The computer will be doing its stuff. We watch and wait as does Simon Richardson. There it is. It is gold for Richardson and for Great Britain. Greg Ball will take a bronze, but it's not the colour he came for. They've all been surprised by that man. And you know, just like Nicole Cook a couple of weeks ago, it's a cyclist from Wales who gets Great Britain's Games gold run underway. Simon Richardson is a gold medalist. Britain's first medal of the Games, straight away to a chap in his 40s from Porth Call. And everyone from the Port Talbot Wheelers who was with him the day he was nearly killed in that crash will be right there on the podium with him now. The sport that so nearly took his life is now providing him with one of the moments of it. Simon, your first Paralympic Games, and you've set the stall out now for the rest of them. Yeah, that's right. We've got hopefully another two gold medals this afternoon. So it'll be three in one day, so it's a good start. And you, 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 if you don't mind me saying, you're no spring chicken. You've, you've come to this pretty late, haven't you? Yeah, it's only my third year back on the bike after getting smashed up by a car, so I've come back to it very quickly. So I've gone from club level up to this straight away, really. So. And you've had your fair share of, of, of trials and tribulations and injuries as well, so it must feel extra special to have won this today. Yeah, it's, I said it's a real shock to have won it. We didn't come for the 1K. That, that is an extra bonus. Well, congratulations, well done, go and enjoy it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. 身穿红白黄三色七星服的学习班的选手江西亚我们这边有两位观众朋友们请坐下我们这边有两位观众朋友们请坐下我们这边有两位观众朋友们请坐下我们这边有两位观众朋友们请坐下我们这边有两位观众
come closer and closer to the runner from Spain, ladies and gentlemen. I see you in big trouble. And now the next time we'll be on the next straight for uh, Richardson with the uh, 2.33. This heat, ladies and gentlemen, seems to be very, very fast. Two laps to go for Richardson with a 310. <laughs> Richardson is trying to give the new list out and present the new list out and then also a new world record, ladies and gentlemen. He's on the last meters. He will add to the world record. 3 minutes 52. Look on the scoreboard. Only 10 seconds for Richardson. Perhaps we'll present the new world record. You can see score the new games. And once again, you will add to the world record for Simon Richardson. Great Britain with 3, 4, 8, 1, 7, 8. Congratulations. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was a start for the run for the gold and silver medal for the title of the Paralympic champion 2008 between Simon Richards and Great Britain, world record, Paralympic record holder, Paralympic champion in the detail at the rider from Japan, Masaki Fushika. In the lead, the Japanese rider, Fushita. Here is the lead. Also here, three K to go. That means 12 laps to cover in the Olympic Velodrome of Laosha. Team Pad of China, Zhang, Nan Zi, Ge Ren, Zhui Zhu, Zhang, Liao Xi, Sun Zi, and the Ruben of the Champion. Two of the Olympic Lord of China. Advantage for the Japanese rounded in one and a half seconds. Now Richardson has to pay attention. Now we have a timekeeping after the first game. A few minutes. And that's the governor. Here we are with the times. 117.4 for Fujita and a delay of 1.1 for Richardson. Who is now speeding up. Seven laps to go now. Fifty-eight在今天上午的资格赛中，他自己的比赛当中刷新世界纪录。All In the lead, Richardson with 1.2 of advantage. Time Here we are with Richardson with 2.33, 5 The advantage for the rider from Rupert.
，日本的选手现在落后三点四秒。Which incident is coming closer and closer? Two laps to go now. Two laps to go. The second entrance is now on the line. Top giving 311. And now for Fujiti from Japan. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the winner of the race, the winner of the race, the winner of the race, the winner of the race. Last step to go for Simon Richardson and last step for Fujito. And ladies and gentlemen, please have a look on the world record and on the Paralympic record. It's very, very close. And here we are with the Paralympic champion, Simon Richardson, with 348, 214, with the world record at 355, 535. Silver medal for Fujita from Japan. Congratulations! The second gold medal for Simon Richardson. Great.